Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 16th of November 2023, I hope you are keeping well, it's evening here. Man was it a hot day today, That's the, the sun was so strong, it hasn't been like that for ages, we've had pretty overcast weather uh, and even when the sun's been shining it hasn't been that hot for ages, it was really really a scorcher today. Uh, in fact I was planning on walking to the swimming pool and I got only a short distance and realized I was going to have to <laughs> not walk it. In fact, take some uh, take a, take some transport because it was outrageously hot, really what it was. Um, what's going on? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, there are, there are things going on in the world that I don't want to talk about. But um, there's an interesting article in The Guardian about the archive of contemporary music. A store of uh, recordings... Um, and there are up to 90 million songs. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many albums that is, but 90 million songs they reckon stored uh, in an archive uh, in the US. And it's looking for a new home. So if you happen to have some space <laughs> and a convenient and no doubt um, perfectly uh, air conditioned and uh, with the correct humidification, um, humidity, sorry, that's a, I made up a word there, the correct humidity. Um, You'll be okay. It will be okay. I uh, the reason I mentioned it was because it reminded me of the fact that uh, several years ago I lost more than half of my record collection. That was that was the day I cried. <laughs> it was so tearful. My vinyl collection from years and years ago, um, from the mostly from the nineteen eighties. 70s, eighties, nineties, I suppose. But no, yeah, not up to the yes up to and including the early 90s I guess uh, I lost it because of woodworm um, how do you lose a record collection due to woodworm you ask well the where I was keeping the records uh, it was not in an air-conditioned area it was actually in my living room it was, it was in a like a huge uh, bookcase open at both sides and uh, Thailand is very humid country and uh, uh, makes perfect conditions for woodworm to thrive. It, they were on wooden shelves, and I had no idea there, were, there was woodworm uh, on the shelves. And my turntable had broken, and so I wasn't um, doing. I wasn't taking the records out and playing them because I because I had a broken turntable. So I had I wasn't really paying attention. So over a period of a couple of months, what had happened was uh, woodworm had eaten its way through all of the album covers and excreted in the grooves of the records and they'd done a phenomenal job they really had they'd they'd uh, done the whole like hundreds and hundreds of albums it was so devastating when i finally realized just one day i kind of pulled out i thought oh pulled out some albums and realized they they were stuck together why are they stuck together and then i knew and i couldn't pull them apart because the, the whole things had kind of melted together it was disgusting <laughs> really awful and when i took out the vinyl from the that means the covers were all destroyed because they they'd all kind of stuck together from the humidity and when i took out the albums and they were so full of um this indescribable stuff that i <laughs> they were and they were not salvageable i had to throw them away so I lost more than half my vinyl collection some years ago and that was a sad day and it was especially sad because I thought that I'd never be able to hear that music again. Most of it was kind of um, unusual jazz or funk and soul that I liked that I thought uh, that was kind of quite rare, you know, a lot of imported into the UK, uh, US stuff and things like that that was quite rare and um, but f guess what? Since that time, people have uploaded most of that stuff onto YouTube. So, in fact, I can hear that music again. Not quite in the quality that I used to be able to hear it in. Because, of course, the quality of the turntables and, and the uploads, etc. You know, don't are not the best hi-fi. But still, can actually hear the music again. All right, let's get on with the New York... Uh, no, Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. I'm, I've been looking at these nines, and so I better put a nine there. That's been uh, on my in my vision since uh, I started the video. 
Um, hmm. Oh, let's look at the nines. Since the nines are actually highlighted, I wasn't looking at nine, I was looking at other digits. But since the nines are highlighted, it's a good idea to look at them. Let's have a wander around. So I know ones are in those squares. And uh, what else? There, there. Okay, I've got three, five, and two here, I believe. Let's just check it. We've got threes, we've got twos, and when the five blocks down like this, that's going to put five in those squares. So this is three, five, two, three, five over here. How does that help? We've got fours blocking down here like this, so that's got to be a four. Again, two, three, five. Uh, so seven blocking down here and across there that's going to be a seven again two three five um, so one six eight in the remaining squares so eight blocking down here puts eight into one of those squares blocking up and eight across here and across here means that's an eight Uh, I should look back in this direction as well, shouldn't I? Now I know that was two, three, five, so we're looking for four, six, eight. We've got an eight, we've got a six. In fact, we've got six blocking down here, so that's six in one of those two squares, so we can get ourselves a six there, can't we? Hmm. Six across here puts six into one of those squares, blocking up. Six across there, there's a six. If I can hit the right key. Uh, now, what did I say? This was 2, 3, 5, right? So when the 6 blocks down there, that's going to give me a 6 in that square. And that means this and this will be 1 and 8. So 1 blocking up here, 1 blocking down there, that's our 1.
5 blocking this square. We need a 5 in that column. It must go there. This will be a 3. And so we'll be left with 2 and 3 in those squares now. Five blocking across here puts five into one of those squares blocking down. That must be a five. And so our three will be one of the missing digits here. So this can't be a three. That must be a three. That must be a two. Two blocks up there. That will be a two. Three blocks across here. Here's our three. We'll finish this block with a six. Uh, up here we're looking for five seven. We got seven across there. There's our seven. This is our five. Five this way, five that way, and five up there means that this is a five. Seven up here and across there will give me a seven in that square. Uh, three missing numbers up here. That is one, two, four, I believe. One and two are in the same columns, uh, same row rather. So that's going to be a four. Uh, so that's one and two. This must be three and eight. We've got the three blocking up there. There's our three. This is our eight. Eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, that's our eight. <coughs> oh, no. I was about to make a mistake there. Let's not make a mistake, shall we? Uh, this is eight and nine over here, right? Uh, we don't have seven in this column yet, do we? We've got seven blocking here, seven blocking there. So that's our seven. Seven's across here, up there, and down there there's a seven. Two across here and here there's our two. Okay, five blocks down here. Oh, no, forget that. Forget that, forget that. Uh, let's have a wander through the digits. Ah, there we go. One block's here. That gives me a one in that square. The last number over here is a five. Five blocking down, down and across there means that's five. Uh, we need still need five. Okay, five blocking down here. Here's a f the last digit five. This is a four. Four blocking down here and across there. There's four. We can have fours across those bottom two rows. Four up here and across there. So. That's four, four down here and across there. I think this is the final digit four. It was. Uh, what do we need here? Is it a three? I think it is. And the threes will block up like so, giving me a three in that square. Three, four, five, and seven are complete. There's one empty square here. I think a six goes there. One blocks this square, so that's going to be a one. The last digit we need for this column is a nine. 
Uh, this must be an 8. 8 blocks this square. We need an 8 in this row. There's our 8. The last number here, 9 I believe it was. 9 blocks down there. There's a 9. And this is 6. 6 up here and across there will give me 6 there. We're looking for a 1 here. And 1 blocks across there's our 1. This is a 2. We still need a 2 there. Uh, what else do we need? We've got one blocking down here. There's a 1. 1 across there. There's a 1. This is an 8. And 6 will finish the grid. That's much easier um, than other some other puzzles we've done at this level or stated level I should say uh, thank you very much I'll see you again um, will I be back at midnight uh, I might I don't know I'm going to be out all day tomorrow so I'm not sure I'll be able to get any games of Sudoku and I might get in one or two if I'm lucky it just depends on the rain on the traffic on my uh, other resting time and uh, and all kinds of things like that. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you around. Bye-bye.